So thank you, Chris. Uh, thank you also, all of you, to be here. Uh, I hope not to push you to have a nap because I will be too boring. Uh, thank you also because um, it's a honor for me to be invited by uh, your association. I think you did a wonderful job to collect uh, and gather uh, peers because we're all working in different country, isolated. But it was uh, for me the first time to enjoy uh, collective uh, and uh, brainstorming all together. So thank you again for the organizer. So yeah, as, as uh, I was very surprised to see that uh, the only one who were talking and promoting Korean language are Korean, but uh, it's so funny. So if we are talking now of Chin Pass, let me, let me introduce you um, a little bit about what we we're gonna talk together. First, it will be who we are. Because uh, when I, I, I'm in a conference, I'd like to, to know who is this guy and where he's coming from, not from the moon, but I want to take, talk about who we are. Then we talk about what does it mean to learn Chinese as a foreigners. Maybe some of you are learning Chinese. The other thing is uh, language learning, adding a series game. Is it a myth or is it does it work really much for foreigners? And what will be the added value of serious game applied to uh, learning a language? And finally, we will see uh, the conclusion. And please, if you have any comment, I think it's a sharing all together. And I would appreciate your comment to improve because it's not perfect. Uh, we're going to the um, background of Chin Pass. I'm, I'm a Korean. Let, let, let's talk a little bit about me. I'm Korean, born in France. Uh, my parents moved in, in France 50 years ago to do their PhD, and that's why I, I was born in France. Uh, but now the link with Chi China is uh, I did a, a, a trip to China in uh, 96, by keeper, and I wanted to discover China. And at that time, 10 days there, I did 3,000 kilometers, but I was deaf, because not talking Chinese. So can you imagine you're living in a country you don't understand? So when I was in the... Uh, in the restaurant, I have to look, you know, the people around me, then I select the, the, the plate or whatever. It's kind of headache. But the good thing is uh, I really love China, and I say I want to live in China for the future. But when China will be a wonderful economy to move, I don't want to stand the platform and look at the train. Oh, m I miss the, w the, the train. So I was, at that time, 96, decided to learn Chinese for sure. Uh, and then night, three years later, in 99, I asked my boss, my background first is IT engineer. I was working there uh, kind of 12 years uh, for a large firm. And uh, I, I tell him, you know, I want to live in China. I need to learn Chinese. So give me a break, part-time job, and I will join Paris uh, University to learn Chinese. Mm -hmm. So he was kind, he gave me one year, and then I joined the university. And my, my goal was very simple, one year later, I should have the level of undergraduate, and I want to speak Chinese. M my only target is I need to speak Chinese, clear cut. Six months later, I was not able to say, si nali. This is the most useful uh, sentence in the world. <laughs> Where is the toilet? So I, I was thinking, man, it's impossible. I, I'm not going to make it. One year later, I will not speak. So then I was thinking, I lost my time. I lost my money because I reduced my salary. And of course, uh, big uh, failure, I'm not, I'm not having this goal. So then I was thinking, the, 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 the learning that I received at the traditional university was completely inefficient. Boring classroom and uh, completely conservative, not using multimedia. And same today, every kid, everybody learning Chinese, one professor, one book, one classroom, face to face. What is the difference between today, tw 2012, and Tang Dynasty, a few hundred years ago? <laughs> Tell me the difference. So I was thinking, let's do, let's input multimedia in that. Because if multimedia can be applied to a l a learning a language, really it's Chinese. Why? Multimedia, what is multimedia? Long, uh, it's a sound and it's image. What is Chinese? Sounds, photons, image, graphics. So 
What a big match. So then I came to see my professor, and I, I, I told him, I want to revolutionize patient tagoming. But the problem is I'm not Chinese. I'm just a beginner. But I have some ideas, and I was thinking, you know, uh, success does not come alone. The only way to get it done is to make a dream team. So will you be part of that? Uh, I will lead the team in terms of engineering, and if I have no, some question about Chinese, you're the expert, and give me your, 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 uh, your, your quotation, whatever, I, I will pay you. So then, little by little, he started up with, uh, with uh, uh, a cluster of, of a university who joined that program. So I said to them, I, I came to the relevant department and I, I had the same discussion that I had today. Please, would you join? Yes or no? If yes, let's do something bright together. So this one is one of the best university in France, Université Technologique de Compiègne, Gonzac might know him, because very good in e-learning. Uh, it's engineering school producing uh, uh, thousands of engineers each year. Uh, we did research in four disciplines before startuping the company Chinpas in 2005. Those years were in heavily involving in R&D. Four disciplines, what does it mean chi uh, uh, learning Chinese as a foreign language? So Chinese didactic. Second thing, engineering multimedia. Third thing, uh, neurosciences applied to language. Look at the Chinese children. One billion plus babies, no books, no classroom. To, uh, at two years, they're all fluent in Chinese. How come? So if, we, if we understand how is the process of those babies, and we copy past the pedagogy to the adults learning, like you and me, then we have likely a success. But if we're too far from the natural processing of learning language, then we're likely to fail. And the fourth thing was change management, because it's a big change for non-Chinese, non not only in language, but also in the mindset, because language is a tool, but culture is the background. So change management. So change management was the Oxford University, HEC, uh, language and culture. Uh, it was, it was uh, Beijing Language and Culture University and uh, Hua Dong Sheta in Shanghai. So, arrived in 2004 and 2005, the project and the pilot was quite mature, and in France there is a, there is a, a national contest once a year, uh, organized by uh, the research and higher education minister, and uh, he has a 30 million grant, so it's not a loan, and so there is a provincial uh, contest and then the national one, and it's based on three criteria. Innovation, technology, and uh, high potential of development in terms of uh, revenue. So everybody can apply. And then uh, I was, I was uh, lucky to, with my team, not me only, we were uh, the laureate of this context in 2004 and 2005. So the government invested half a million euro in our company, and we had the support of uh, the ministers of uh, research education who came and say, well, what we can do to help you and promote that. So we had the support of six French ministers, including two prime ministers. And during the exchange of uh, uh, entrepreneur of France and China, the 100 uh, 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 entrepreneurs exchange with Wen Jiabao, uh, it, was, it was a project selected by both governments to say, come in China after that. That's why 2006 here, after the trip, I moved to Korea and uh, to, to China until today. I'm living in Shanghai. Uh, I did a launch in South Korea, but it was abor uh, aborted because uh, it was a failure because uh, it was too difficult in Korea. And I found personally it's even even easier to do business with Chinese than Korean. <laughs> it's a little bit funny, but it's true. Um, so 2007 until today, we were located in different uh, uh, re research institute. First, uh, our headquarters is still located in the uh, National Center, Research Center of France. Headquarter in this incubator. And, uh, and then when we moved in, uh, in China, we were located in, uh, in uh, a Chamber of Commerce, French China. 
and then moved to uh, Shanghai Technology Innovation Center. And now we, we together with the foremost uh, editor of Serious Game in China, which is Cycle Pleasure in Shanghai. So the founder of Cycle Pleasure should come here, but at the last moment she had a passport issue. So she was not able to come. She lost her passport and uh, 10 days before coming, it was not possible to renew. So the two companies heavily involved in serious game in China in the commercial is Chin Pass and Cycle Pleasure. That's what you have to know. And we did, what we did is the product was I will explain to you. Uh, and we did some, some collaboration with DICT.CN, which is uh, one of the best dictionary online. And they have uh, one million users every day. And w our collaboration is, is uh, they give uh, visibility for our company. Uh, we did also for the last uh, two, three years uh, uh, investment in uh, mobile learning. Not only serious game, but mobile learning. Because we think that adding mobile learning, serious game, plus face-to-face -face is the equation. Uh, as you know perfectly, the trend is mobile learning, not, not uh, the uh, e-learning e on, on PC. So we launched Quick Speaker in eight languages in mainland China. And so far, within two years, we had one million download in eight languages for the Chinese. And now we are about to launch, by the end of this year, the second version of Quick Speaker. So here are some, some customers. So as you see uh, from the logo, our customers are only B2B. We are, uh, our friend this morning was doing uh, B2C for the kids. And we are doing B2B. Why B2B? For two reasons. First reason is uh, um, they have a real issue. The issue is this one. How is it possible to learn a complex language, Chinese, who require time when we don't have time and when we have frequent traveler? This is the biggest top issue of the executive living in China. The second thing what he wa why it was important to work with them is because they have money. Simple like that. I need money. I don't want to blah, blah, blah. Hey, I, we funded a lot of investment. I need to recover money, ROI, simple like that. Working with B2C will, will be, for me, uh, a non-good strategy. For me, I'm not talking of the other. Why? Because B2C, I mean, I'm coming from scratch. To make them known that I'm, I'm existing, you need a lot of money. And they don't have a lot of money, the B2C. But B2B, the second point I want to mention is they're very focused on efficiency, quality efficiency. B2B, we are targeting the C-level, CEO, CEO levels of very top-notch executives. And in helping them, of course, it helps us to be qualitative. You, you also are executives. You already uh, like to buy premium services. You know what is quality and non-quality. You don't want to waste your time. Your time is very precious. So that's why he helped us also to be very qualitative. So what does it mean learning Chinese? The, long, the challenges. Challenges first is the writing, as you know. Uh, writing, this is the only language in the world. Who are Chinese uh, ethnical here? So most of, most of you. Okay, so I, I will not debate here too much. But let's say, <laughs> because you're going to teach me then. Uh, the only thing is, this is the only language in the world who is not alphabetical today. So if you see the characters, nothing will give you a sign of the pronunciation. Nothing. So then you need to adopt what we call a pinyin, which is the uh, pronunciation. Okay? So, zhe, mu. And then all together makes a shadow because it's under the tree. Upper the tree is, is a shine because it's upper the tree. And rising is east, dong. Second important thing to understand with the characters, Cambridge University researcher de defined that this is the only language who requires solicit both brain. Normally, you, you, you learn French, English, Korean, whatever, only the left part. Chinese is the, the artistic part is involved because sounds, music, and graphics, to make it simple. Uh, number of characters, seven to 10,000 active. 
the threshold for kids or for active on the daily basis is 2,000, 3,000, and it takes for local Chinese five years to read and write. So think of the foreigners. You want to read and write? It takes five years for the real Chinese. It will take at least five years for you. So is it the target? No. Nobody want to read and write at the beginning. They just want to two skills, speaking, understanding. And then we have to think of the target. A simplification to, to 2,356, thanks to the, ch to the mainland government. Oral language, as you know, four tones. Uh, and the official transcription is pinyin. Cynthia poor. So think of the customer. Yeah, I'm sorry, I always talk about customers and not learner. Because it tells you something. My customer are the learner and they give me money. I should be serious with them. Uh, the challenge is, for them, is very long, normally. They don't have time. First, second is boring. You know, you, you already passed any kind of language learning, like English, Spanish, whatever. You invested a lo long time to that. Can you speak fluently those languages? Same. You, you speak all lang English, travel to France, Korea, China, all invested 10 to 12 years in English. How many of us speak fluently Chinese? In France, the official number, uh, uh, English, official number is 40%. 60% is waste of time. And you know why the 40% they speak fluently? Not because of the academy, because they extensively travel, you know, student exchange whatsoever. So. Normally, it's boring and inefficient. And few interaction with the native. So we have to think about this, those issues and tackle that after that. So now, let's think together about serious game applied to language. Is it a myth or is it a reality? First, we have to think about the definition of serious game. We, we, we had a lot of talk about serious game. I want to make it simple. There is serious in one way and game in other way. For us, or for you, what is the most important war? Is it game or is it serious? Game? I will say serious first. <laughs> Why? Okay, let's think of serious. Serious, what does it mean? It means learning. That's why we put the game in the learning environment. Serious means learning. What does it mean, learning? Learning means knowledge acquisition into a skill. So if we said our game is serious, at the end it should be because the learners will acquire a skill. If at the end they use our game and they don't have any skill, I would define my game not serious. And I would cheat my customers. Because why, why they are not acquiring a skill? Then my game will be a fun game. And I could not pretend to have a serious game then. So then after, we have to think of the defense mechanism. A any kind of change have a lot of defense mechanism. So first of all, will be the normal educator. Think of the professor. You, s you, you talk about you know serious game in China. I think, hey, it's not serious. For me, game is not serious at all. So we have to convince them, hey, come on, uh, we, you have also to shift in your mind. Today we're living not in the Tang Dynasty, but tw 2012. The other thing is for, for the learners themselves, they need a driver of change. Because any language, when they look at the language and they think of the process, is very boring and inefficient. So we have to convince them too. You know, we apply now serious game, it will be a shit for you. Why? Because it will be, you will, it will be a good, good go for you. It will be your motivation. We convince you that you save time, and it will be efficient. That for sure. And l give us some time to convince you. We have also to be careful with the full e-learning, full game or full e-learning. I'm not believing in full e-learning to learn any kind of language. If I tell you. Hey, learn 
Chinese only with e-learning, I'm sure few hours later you're going to hate me because it's impossible. Language is a matter of communication between two persons. So I don't want to, to, to focus only on the game. There is a dilemma between the, the game or the IT or whatever with the, 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 the human living. And there is a dilemma and I really do think that today there is three schools. Three schools of thought in terms of education. One thing is e-learning pure. The other opposite is face-to-face -face pure. And the third one, as you know, is blended e-learning. And I really do think that both of them have a value. And we should put the added value in both of them to reduce the minor of, of both of them too. So if we're thinking of only pure e-learning, the main snare is dehumanized language. So th those people cannot communicate through, through PCs. And there's a, there is also a kind of autonomy issue. They get lost. Even if it's sexy on the game, they even get lost. Uh, the other thing also is motivation issue. Put any kind of us in front of a computer for a certain period of time, if there is no human interactivity, we don't want, especially for the language. So what is the value now of service game applied to language? What is the e-value? Uh, we have to think of language basics. Before, we were thinking of the, the kids. The kids, when they learn a language, they learn by doing and by playing, face to face, full immersion. Uh, when we're talking also of language, what does it mean, learning a language? Is it just a pure knowledge acquisition, or is it a transfer of emotion? If I said to you, I hate Singaporean, are you focusing on my vocabulary, or behind, beneath the meaning? If I say I love Singaporean, what, do you, what does it mean? I love you, what does it mean? You know? So it's, it's emotion. It's all about emotion language. So when we apply serious game to language, we have to be alignment with that. Think of the people, their motivation, and so on. It should be fun. The, 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 the serious game are fun, per se, because this is a game. This is also efficient, because we learn by doing a simulation. And the third thing is very practical. Wherever you are, you don't need to be physically in, a, in, in, a, in here. Uh, you can play wherever you are in the world and when you want. So the e-value is also time. So you know those, you know, uh, KPMG study, whatever, to reduce time on e-learning uh, because transportation, whatever. I would say uh, for our customer, there is a really wonderful saving on the time because CEOs, they already learn Chinese. Private teacher came and they teach boring education book. And after a couple of hours and sometimes years, they cannot speak. So if you imagine the hours left, you know, invested, the input invested in the learning and the outcome, how many hours of their precious time were, were, were wasted? You know, some of our CEO are board member of uh, 300,000 people, uh, 10,000 people. Think of one hour, the cost of one hour, one hour of them. You multiply by 50 hours, 100 hours, and the outcome is almost nothing. Think of the loss. Uh, so the, the, the good thing, e-value, is to, to transfer a knowledge into acquisition, a skill, which is oral skill. So how we do we do in Chinpass is, is, is that way. First of all, we make a linguistic audit. Okay, let's take you. You want to learn Chinese. Why do you want to learn Chinese? What do you want to say? Uh, your, your professional constraint, uh, your expectation, your goals, and your fears. What do you fear in learning Chinese? And then we, we, we did a cognitive, cognitive profile test. How to make sure how you visual or auditive. Then we know you when you, 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 you hear. And then it will be a combination, we said, between self-training 
and face-to-face, self-training face-to-face. First of all, what, what face-to-face, the problem of face-to-face, you waste a lot of time because if we have to learn Chinese, there is a lot of, you discover the vocabulary with the professor. You know, hello, ni hao, repeat after me. Computer, tian now, repeat after me. Uh, what song mean, repeat after me. <laughs> it's a joke. Uh, so, it's all a kind of repetition. But when do you speak? It's, it's the time allowed to speak is so little. So then you pile up a lot of hours of knowledge acquisition and you never speak. No wonder why after 100 hours of learning, then they never speak. So what we said is repetition, discovering new vocabulary, you, you do that on self-training in e-learning game uh, and then mobile phone. Then when you need to practice, practice should be done by real face dialogue, you switch to face to face. Learning by doing, learning by playing, you play virtual life, you play real life. So I'll show you a demo. You take a taxi online and you take a taxi offline. That's why we guarantee the result. How do we assess the result? Is learning by doing. Do you want to, to take your taxi in China in Chinese? Do it online first. Then next time, face to face, we make sure that you can do that because we bring you in the real life situation. You take a taxi, we with you. You want to, you want to order your food in Chinese, we, we, you simulate there and then we go with you in the restaurant. And after 72 hours face to face, we have also 100 hour online plus 72 hours face to face, well, what do you get? A survival kit. Survival kit is get your pinyin, it's pronunciation, very, very important. Then, introduction, transportation, accommodation, sell, buy, and ask. I would like, I don't want. That's the minimum survival kit that you get after 72 hours. So we design a first 3D online game uh, in uh, using uh, Virtuals, 3D Via, which is uh, the, 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 the new name. And then I inside, we design different you know, s uh, activities like uh, taking a taxi, hotel lobby. Uh, you visit a company because all our customers are B2B. So we should simulate what they're doing on the daily life, business life. Visit the company, they have a business meeting, business center, and travel agency, and shopping and restaurant. That's what we're doing. And uh, then after, they can use alone, we can, for, for those who, who move, we can have a telephone conferencing, video conferencing also, using a professional one and face to face. So, uh, before going to that, I will show you now a demo of our website. Uh, let's go here. So here we are. We have, uh, uh, we have here three doors. We have a three, uh, three level. Primary class include beginners and intermediate. And business class is, is uh, uh, Gongse Hanyu business, business uh, content. So first of all, let's say we primary level. So they can get the tone. Why does it? Okay. Oh, she's angry against me. Eh? Uh, we did also. Uh, we did also. You see, four colors. Uh, one. It, it was a subject also to to uh, uh, research. Why four colors? Because you visualize the tone. Blue for the highest tone. Uh, the growing tone, the second tone is, is green like a vegetable. The third one is going down and up. is a, is a, a hot color like a red color. And then sharp color will be the, the black one. So let's go to taking a taxi. Let's pretend that we are, we are learning how to take a taxi in China. We have the vocabulary here. So the customer will never 
learn the graph, the characters here. What they learn is the the pinion. Where do you want to go? World Trade Center. So they visualize the tone. It's easier for them to memorize with the colors. And then they go to vocabulary. They even have exercise here. Uh, recognize the audio. So I put an A here. Papia should be here, right? And blah, blah, blah. And then confirm. And then they, g they even get a score. So they don't need a professor to do that. Uh, the, the teacher will know and will understand if the, the student already prepared the courses. You have a dashboard here, lesson one to lesson 26. And before, uh, the face-to-face, -face, the professor will say, okay, let's pretend that it, it was a lesson, for example, uh, seven, lesson seven here. The professor will look at the dashboard and say, okay, he learned. So it's, it's relevant to do a face-to-face. -face. But if he didn't learn and didn't play the game, let's say lesson 23 here, the check, he didn't prepare, then the teacher will say, let's postpone because you, 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 you're losing the effect of chin pass. No added value. So let's reschedule. And if he does study, then we know that and he will do, he will take a taxi online. So then it will start like that. i show you a demo. If it works. Yeah, here. So there should be a storytelling for, for a serious game. Storytelling, a clear cut definition, a mission from the top. We, 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 w our scenario is mission impossible. So you have a map here. Uh, you have a goal, which is now how to take a taxi, ask you way. And you have three life. We show you the, 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 the direction here, left, right, and then the map will be destroyed. So, want to play together? Let's go. So that's what the, our our C level people, our executives, doing at home. Or, you know, and you know, when I show them, even big CEO, they like it very much. You know, we're talking of CEOs coming from uh, of CAC 40, 100, and they like it very much to see that. So we pretend that we are the customer here. I'm sorry, this is the sound of my computer. So then we have four choices, right? We don't click because we can click and uh, we don't understand. It should be a learning. Don't forget it's learning. So learning by doing, I will select which one? Tell me which one I should, I should type. We are so we are to no hotel to ten. Shibusha. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, anyway. So he said, do you want to go straight or on la uh, turn left? So what do we do? Xiang, zuo, zhuan. So do we want to turn left, straight on, right? Do you remember the, the, the map? 
向右转世。嗯，如果我们写错了，比如是向左，这这。向右转，意思不一不一样，是不是 ？The meaning is not the same. So look at that. 这个方向好像不对呀、啊。So you learn by your failure too. The direction looks like not to be the good one. So then you get a little stress because you have、uh, only two lives left. So 向右 otherwise game over. You die on the street. <laughs> And so, so, and you can even turn. I, c I can turn uh, everywhere in the, uh, in the, in the, in the city. And then here is no hotel, hotel. So it cost hundred twenty dollars yuan. And we we arrive. And we get the mission done. If we continue in the storytelling, now we're going to the lobby of the hotel, and then the next mission will be to book a room, okay, inside. Yes. Yeah, it's a good question. We did. Good question. We work with IBM、uh, Voice Recognition Institute in 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 Beijing. And we had a big issue of that. And、uh, why we did not process to that is because the the voice recognition was not enough mature to for the for the fine tones. So we did, for example, a, a trial with the Beijing Gen, Putonghua. The the standard is Beijing Gen, Shu Busha. And then we took them and said, record yourself, record yourself. You're the reference, the standard. And then we took not a foreigner, but Shanghainese or Cantonese. And the delta, in some way, was so big that the engine said he's not Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> and the Shanghainese was very angry. How come? It, you know, he was about to to break down the computer. Yeah, come on. So then we we were not able to tune in efficient manners because it was too hard. So then we said, at the beginning, we said the most important thing is human interactivity, not the game. So we said we leave it, and we take the here of our tutor for those ones. But、uh, it doesn't mean that we gave up. For the second edition of、uh, Quick Speaker,、uh, will be launching before the end of this year. We, we will use uh, uh, voice recognition. So, for example, you say,、uh, "I want to go to the toilet." You speak to your mobile phone. It will translate it, and then. Retrieve and you you select it in Chinese. We are to see Shodian or other languages: Korean, French, Chi、uh, Chinese, Russian, Spanish, Japanese, and Korean. So we invested to do our own、uh, TTS, text-to-speech engine. So that's that's how it works.、Uh, The customers then also use.、Uh, let me show you another、uh, website to show you、uh, Quick Speaker because we're talking of Quick Speaker.、Uh, let's say we French, and then、uh, we have here a sentence book of the most useful 4,000 sentences. So they select the category, for example, in、uh, in a taxi like. Uh, they, you, they, they select the sentences, most useful sentences, and it will retrieve、uh, the sound. So the next generation, it was downloaded within two years in one million,、uh, and now we will do the, as you said, the voice recognition in Android, iOS. So let's talk a little bit about how do we do a serious, serious game. Uh, I know some of you also are, are, are editors of serious game, but we have to think of the mechanism. Principle are very simple: make a clear mission from the beginning, and then、uh, make a storytelling that will not be boring. 
you have to engage, it should be fun. Evaluation is very important because we're talking of learning. If we don't evaluate and assess and get the job done, which is knowledge conversion into a skill, it's not serious. And then make a reward and any, any elimination. Think of the customer of, or, or the learners, the needs, the expectations, uh, their defense mechanisms, and think of the goals. Is, is it a knowledge pure? Is it a skill? Or is it a change in the behavior? Think of the motivation. Many of the customer today, 60 to 70 percent of the customer who want to learn Chinese is because of the business. When I came uh, 10 years ago in China, for the non-Chinese, if they were expert in any domain, it was easy for, for them to get a job. You're expert in IT, finance, consulting, whatever, it was easy. Today, uh, I have some friend working in a high, high head hunting job. If they're expert, the same guy, but without speaking Chinese, their CV is, is even not, not studied. So that's why most of, this is a good uh, opportunity for us because we have more and more customers, high level guys, even we, we had a recently a guy, a CEO, who uh, uh, ran uh, factories in China for 20 years. I said, how come on, you, you never learned Chinese? He did, he tried, but never, never succeed, succeeded in, in speaking. So now there is a big issue in we want to, to go fast. Other is uh, some few of our customers because they're married with uh, ethnical Chinese, men or women, and not both, of course. And here is uh, some of them, very few are passionate about China. Acupuncture, wushu, whatsoever, and they want to, 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 to learn Chinese. So we have to think about them. Because most of our customers are B2B, then you see the activities online is related to uh, business content and, of, of course, of the life. We have to think of also the content strategy. When we deliver the content online for the service game, how do we do? Because doing e-learning is very simple. You just put, you know, you click on the sentence, you have a sound, everybody can do that. But to innovate is a different thing. Learning method, the pedagogy, we should think of learning by discovery, learning by doing, and also learning from the failure. We, we, uh, failure is very important to learn because everybody of us when we learn something in our life, it's just because we had failed. So is this the same on, on the service game education? Think also of the environment of our learners or customers. Our customers, B2B, as we said before, they don't have time. How is it possible to learn Chinese, a complex language, who require time when we don't have time and when we are frequent traveler? Because we, we know that the target, and I was concerned myself, then it was easy then after to define what should be good for those targets. So conclusion, we should be balanced uh, between editor's mindset, doing a software, whatever, and being an educator. We should not be, uh, we should not oppose the educator stuff with the editor stuff. We should think of what is the good match or equilibrium between, between two of them. And first of all, uh, it's not a matter, when we're talking of service game, it's not a matter of doing uh, coding, designers, or whatsoever. We should not forget that service game is it's focused on service, which is learning, and which is them. They pay me to get a result. So I should not sell a game. I sell a result. That's why in Chin Pass I said to them, 72 hours, now you know the process, right? 72 hours using the same stuff, I promise you, we still be a friend after that. And we, so far within seven years, we had 300 executive top level, none of them as for the refund. And today, in terms of marketing, I'm, don't, I'm not doing any marketing. This is word of mouth. Let's say, recently we had the CEO of Merck in China. 
uh, which is American pharmaceutical group. I say, may I ask you, how do you know us? And he said, L'Oreal, CEO of China, talk about you and said, don't mess up with, don't mess up with your Chinese, just go to Chin Pass. Regarding the price, they're safe because we guarantee the result black and white. If after 72 hours you don't speak Chinese, money back the completely. So where's the risk? First, second, this is not their money. This is the, the, the corporate. <laughs> okay. Exactly, Gonzag. And the, and the third thing is, as a social entrepreneur, I said to them, 2% of our sales revenue will be dedicated to help the poor Gakao. Gakao, which is the high school graduation in China. Let's say Sichuan, Gansu. You have a, you have a very smart people. Education is a matter of uh, money, not IQ. I really believe in that. Everybody, standard people are, have a normal IQ. They can go uh, Ivy League for sure. But why some didn't go? Because of money issue. So I, I strongly believe education is knowledge, and knowledge should be shared to everybody, regardless the money in the pocket. So 2% of, of our, our revenue is dedicated to fund the scholarship and bring those smart kids to Shanghai and give them the tuition fee and uh, uh, life fees for one year. And you know what? Our customer like it very much because we said to them, you're gonna be trained in China and meanwhile you help a local Chinese. So this is a wonderful also uh, uh, driver for me as a business guy to be focused on the real education, the, nob the, the nobility of, of education which, will be w which is sharing. And now we, we, we are also in uh, in, uh, in association with the Hong Kong NGO. They built already uh, 16 schools in China, hardware, but they need the content and we will provide for them free for the kids. So, good serious game means good for the learner. So here we are, we finished. Thank you for your attention. I hope you, you didn't have a nap. <laughs>